Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over my winter delights because we're still in this winter season and I want to share these perfumes that are not typically like super long lasting but they're really really nice fragrances still for this winter. So if you're interested to know what my winter delights are just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so this first one that I absolutely love, and I did pick it up a little while ago, but I want to share with you guys, and this is a perfect to me wintry or like a colder weather perfume. Not huge on the lasting power, but definitely a really, really nice scent, and it is from Paco Rabanne, and this is Lady Million Lucky. Now, you guys, I've had this in my collection for quite some time. And she's not like super, super long lasting, but she's still a really nice scent. But let me go ahead and spray her. Okay, so this Lady Million Lucky, it's really sharp. It's coming from that Neroli, which is like a sharp white floral to me. But I absolutely love it in fragrances. It's not a real like super, super powerful white floral, but just a really, really nice white floral. There is a new flanker out to Lady Million Lucky, which is Lady Million Empire. And I'm on the fence if I want to actually pick that one up. But you guys, as far as this one goes, I am about... I haven't really been getting a chance to wear her that much, but that is where I am on my Lady Million Lucky. She does have notes of raspberry that's not like too fruity, but it's still fruity enough to still stay mature. So it is a fruity, mature raspberry. She also has notes of honey, which the honey is so well behaved in this perfume that it smells really, really good. This is so, so pretty. And it does have notes of also hazelnut, so it is nutty. So this does dry down nutty, but it also still makes her delightful. So yes, I am really intrigued on trying that next flower which is Lady Million Empire. It's supposed to be like a more sweeter version of this. So I'm really, really intrigued on trying that. But this one does not get a lot of love, honey. She only get love from me in the cooler weather. So you guys, I did have to mention this Lady Million Lucky because she is so nice. I really like this. Well behaved on the honey. Still a nutty base. Really nice, sharp Neroli, but it's also fresh. So check out this Lady Million Lucky if you have not done so already. But I just had to bring her to you guys because it was a delight to wear this this in the cooler weather where it was still kind of I won't say it was classy but it was more like a casual and I did actually love this one so I just wanted to share this one as a winter delight not long lasting but still a really really nice scent and again this one is Lady Million Lucky from Paco Rabanne Okay, so this next one is from the house of Ellie Saab. You guys, this is my only Ellie Saab fragrance, but I absolutely adore this one. And she is a perfect, delightful scent for the wintertime. And it is Girl of Now. You guys, I really haven't too much featured her on my channel that much, except for when I actually picked her up when Fragrance Net was having that sale. You guys, and y'all sold them out. Okay, y'all sold out this Girl of Now. But I want to bring this to you guys as a delightful winter perfume. She is a nice, sweet almond and pistachio scent really sweet and kind of fruity she does have notes of pear and mandarin orange so i would consider this as a, like a orangey scent and i know when i talk about orangey i'm referring to like mandarin orange blossom african orange flower those to me makes a perfume really really orangey smelling so that's what i mean when i say orangey she's really orangey but she's still very sweet and delightful she is good for daytime wear I will wear her during the day and not to be taken too seriously but more of like a nice everyday type of scent I really really do enjoy this girl now and I've worn her maybe about six times since I've had it that's why the bottle still looks full she's not like a top favorite but she's still a really really nice scent to wear and I do receive compliments on this one guys so I just wanted to share this one as a nice winter delightful perfume and again this one is girl of now from Ellie Saab okay so this next one you guys I really enjoy this one. She is my favorite from this line. And I did actually share this one on Instagram. Usually on Instagram, I do feature some of these perfumes that I am wearing and ones that I picked up. So if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to click down below and follow me on Instagram. But this next one, you guys, is from the house of E. Saint Laurent. Yes, and it is a Black Opium Floral Shock. You guys, this is so, so nice. But let me go ahead and give her a spray. You guys, she is so, so nice. She's real fresh and citrusy, so she does stray away from the other flankers of Black Opium as well as the original. So I really, really do like this one. She's citrusy. She has those really, really 
fresh notes of gardenia. To me, you guys, this is one of the freshest gardenia scents that I have, and I absolutely love this. She, to me, is perfect for the daytime. She's even good enough to wear in the winter. Even though she's lighter and fresher than the original, she's not heavy on the vanilla, the coffee, or patchouli. She doesn't have patchouli in her, so that's how she does differ from the others, you guys. To me, the others are a lot stronger. She's a more lighter citrusy version, you guys, her being floral shock. I wouldn't say that she's like shocking. She's more it's like lighter and more floral than the others, but still not floral in a way. If you don't like florals, you wouldn't like her because she's actually a really, really nice scent. You guys, I'm really, really digging this one. And I would say hmm, she may be kind of at the top of me for the flankers when it comes to black opium. She's a good daytime perfume. This one is a little bit more easier to wear than the other flankers. I have the original. I have this floral shock and I also have Nuit Blanche. You guys, and I'm probably going to do a collection review. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to do a collection review. I'm not going to say probably because I am because I am here for these fragrances. And I know you guys are too. So that is why I'm going to definitely put her in a collection review where I review review all three of them okay but again this one is black opium floral shock and this is an eau de parfum she is a delight to wear still in this cooler weather so check her out if you have not already checked out black opium's floral shock Okay, you guys, so this last one that I want to talk about of my Winter Delight perfumes is this Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. Now, I did feature her in a perfume haul a couple of months ago, but you guys, I have definitely been wearing this, and I absolutely love this sweet tuberose. So let me go ahead and give her a spray. You guys, she's a green sweet tuberose. She's also kind of fresh as well, which is what I really do like. She does kind of dry down on the skin, a little powdery. She is so, so nice and beautiful. I consider her as my white perfume, my winter white perfume, because she smells so, so beautiful, okay? If you like tuberose, you will like this. Just looking at this, you will kind of assume that she's super floral. She is a floral perfume, but she's a sweet floral. But she's a green floral, like a sweet floral. So it's not like real heady or screechy floral, but she's really, really nice and sweet. And I love me a sweet tuberose. And I do prefer any tuberose perfumes being sweet. I can't tolerate them when they're just like a pure tuberose. An example, Gucci Bloom, you guys. Oh my goodness. No, ma'am. There's a lot of people that like Gucci Bloom, but me over here, honey, over here, over here, no ma'am, we don't do Gucci Bloom because that tuberose is so stuffy and it's not sweet. So that's why I cannot do Gucci Bloom. Out of all Gucci perfumes, I would say that's my least favorite one out of all of them. And I have a lot of Gucci perfumes and I also have a lot of samples of Gucci Bloom. The newest release of Gucci Bloom, the release before that, like all the flankers, I have samples of them. But honey, I'm not here for that. I'm not even going to review that either because I'm not a fan of Gucci Bloom. But this is not about Gucci Bloom, honey. This is about this Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca so yes ma'am she is a winter delight and this is my winter white perfume from Oscar de la Renta you guys and I will also let you know I do have the Bella Rosa and there is a new flanker that just came out called Bella Essence, honey. Y'all already know I'm on that. Y'all already know I'm on that Bella Essence. I cannot wait to spill the tea on that collection, okay? Because I'm already on the Bella Essence, honey. Again, follow me on Instagram because I am showcasing a lot of perfumes that I'm picking up. And you never know, that Bella Essence might be already on Instagram. So definitely follow me on Instagram. But I want to end this on this Oscar de la Renta Bella Blanca. Beautiful tuberose scent. Definitely, to me, a winter time floral and how I prefer florals it being sweet tuberose and also drying down fresh so check it out if you have not done so already and again this is Oscar de la Renta's Bella Blanca one of my faves so check her out Okay, you guys, so this does conclude my winter delights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any of these fragrances, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these because, honey, I am really enjoying wearing these. So let me know how you guys feel because I love to read and see what you guys have to say. Also, what you guys are picking up. Let me know, honey, because there might be some perfumes that you guys have or you guys have tried that I don't know nothing about. Honey, so put me on to it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.